Douglas Cooling and Heating, serving the Birmingham area for 38 years, 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday, the 13th of April. Beautiful today, just about as nice as it gets, but by golly, we might be dealing with another round of severe thunderstorms across the Deep South before this week is over. So let's discuss Skycam shots early this morning. First off from Tuscaloosa, from the top of the Tuscaloosa County Courthouse. That's the vantage point looking down over Interstate 359 where it Turns into Lurleen B. Wallace Boulevard. Head up north to downtown Fayette. Things are nice and quiet there this morning. And down south in Troy. That is the football stadium on the campus of Troy University on a cool spring morning. We are in between everything this morning. The trough that brought the severe weather Monday night well to the east. New system way out west, so... Nice and quiet and cool. Look at those numbers. As cold as 40 this morning in Cullman, Haleyville 41, Gadsden 43. Uh, Birmingham and Tuscaloosa 47 will warm up into the uh, uh, mid to upper 70s today. The humidity stays low, just really nice. On the watch warning map, things are relatively quiet around much of the nation. We note that winter storm watch for parts of South Dakota here in mid-April. All right, here we go. Next weather system. This is tomorrow, the day two convective outlook, a moderate risk of severe weather around Tulsa and Wichita. And surrounding that, a slight risk from near Omaha to Shreveport. And oh boy, here we go on day three, which is Friday. Now, all of Alabama in a severe weather risk. In fact, that risk runs all the way from the central Gulf Coast up to uh, near Indianapolis. And uh, uh uh-oh. That doesn't look good. The, uh, the the chance of significant severe weather is now showing up in that hatched area through West Alabama, East Mississippi, and parts of Southern Tennessee. And uh, again, it looks like a situation where a moderate risk could be going up there and could be a significant severe weather day for parts of the Deep South, including Alabama. So again, uh, all hands will be on deck uh, for this event. But the good news, it will be gone by the time we get to the weekend. Here's the QPF chart, expected rain around the nation for the next five days. Uh, This is suggesting rainfall amounts of about one inch here with our Friday system. Let's look at some of the specifics here. This is the global forecast system, the GFS, valid at 1 o'clock this afternoon. Departing trough to the east, new trough out west. And we are nice, quiet, and calm today. The uh, GFS is spitting out a high of 78, sounds about right. Tomorrow should be sunny and warmer. Uh, 81 is what's on the GFS, and again, that sounds pretty good. And you can see the surface low developing north of Amarillo, Texas, and Gage, Oklahoma. And again, out there in that zone uh, tomorrow evening, we'll probably see some pretty mean storms firing up over uh, east Texas and east Oklahoma in advance of the uh, dry line. All right, Friday, you don't want to see that look in mid-April. Very deep upper low near Kansas City. Uh, Very diffluent flow aloft here. Uh, It's a vertically stacked system, so the surface low is in the same spot as the upper low near Kansas City, 986 millibars. I'm sorry, 996 millibars. And uh, this is 1 o'clock Friday afternoon, uh, suggesting the uh, convection will be ongoing just west of here, and then that will be moving in here by mid to late afternoon. And then Friday night, just after midnight, the surface low is moving northeast. The uh, band of storms is uh, uh, passing through here, and it sure looks like a deal where it'd be maybe 3 to midnight, something like that, Friday afternoon and Friday night. We'll check some of the severe weather parameters. This is the instability, and this is at uh, 7 p.m. Friday. And uh, again, that, that if there's any limiting factor, that might be it. Uh, the instability values are over 1,000 joules where you see the brighter shades of blue there. And uh, you've got that little tongue coming up through West Alabama. Um, And again, you really want to see those like over 1,500 joules here in mid-April. So uh, that could be a limiting factor. Helicity values are pretty high. This is the uh, low-level helicity, 0 to 1 kilometer in relation relation to storm movement. And those numbers are pretty significant, uh, over 300 uh, uh, units there. And that certainly is supportive of rotating updrafts. 
And it remains to be seen if this thing will be linear or cellular. And certainly if it happens during the peak of the heat, when you can get development out ahead of the main line, anything that does break out ahead of the line could certainly go tornadic. And the energy helicity index values are quite high. This is the three kilometer EHI. And uh, again, uh, they're over two units. It's very significant right up down the I-65 corridor. And this is 7 p.m. Friday evening. The significant tornado parameter, the STP, hits uh, three from near Brent in Tuscaloosa down to Demopolis and near Butler. And again, that seems to be where the best combination of uh, uh, lift and instability will be. And that's certainly supportive of tornadoes. And the Craven Brooks uh, Index, that's one of the composite indices. And uh, again, those numbers are highest over west central Alabama and then points to the south and west where the air is most unstable. But look, this is Wednesday morning and trying to nitpick mesoscale features for a Friday evening event. It's way too early for that. We're just looking at these numbers now. But certainly at this point, we'd have to say that a line of severe storms is very likely with, with potential for damaging straight line wind. And certainly there's some risk of tornadoes involved if we can get convection ahead of the main line, those discrete cells. And based on the parameters, there could be a strong tornado involved in here. SPC has mentioned that, and we certainly agree with that. So, again, 3 until midnight, Friday afternoon, and Friday night. Severe weather potential. Saturday, the trough swings on to the east, and the weather improves. And, again, it could be a day with wraparound clouds uh, Saturday morning. We'll just say clearing during the day, and the weather turns noticeably cooler. Uh, I don't think we see 70, and especially if clouds stick around. Uh, the GFS is high of 68. Uh, and then uh, Sunday looks beautiful. A cloudless sky for the Aaron's 499, the big race out at the Super Speedway. It's race weekend at Talladega. Uh, Mid-70s, low humidity will start the day in the 40s. Just fantastic. Monday of next week, uh, golf opens up warmer and kind of muggy. Uh, there's Tuesday, a deep surface low is near Detroit. And then Wednesday, really the, the core of that the upper system is way north of us, but a, a cold front will be dragging through here. But the surface low is uh, way up there in northeast Canada. And that would just suggest a, a line of storms, not a classic severe weather set up there. But again, we'll look at it as we get closer. Uh, we'll dig a little deeper. How about April 26? That's a good-looking trough, and that could be very stormy if that's right. And the end of the forecast on the 28th, pretty good little flow there aloft. And again, uh, things look kind of active. But then again, this is April. It's supposed to be active around here. Uh, that's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 or so this afternoon. If you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening. ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Being Alabama's news leader means digging deeper to get you the facts, working harder so you have all sides of the story and not being afraid to tell the truth. Every day you award us by making ABC 3340 Alabama's most watched news. And now the Associated Press has named us Alabama's most outstanding news operation. That's nine times since 1996, more than all other stations combined. And that's nine more reasons you should trust the news leader. ABC 3340.